Hi, Phyllis here from SouthernFrugal.com. Today we got super busy on some projects Mr. Buffy's working on. I was on the phone for him a lot, and uh, so the time got kind of got away from me. So let's see, it's almost seven o'clock and no supper. We really didn't have any lunch either. We just had some of the French bread I fixed, and then we just got super busy. So we're going to have to see how fast we can get the supper ready. All right, so what I'm going to have is some beef tips, and I got these on sale at uh, Bilo the other day. Look at that price. Isn't that great? So this is sirloin beef tips. So I'm going to fix these, uh, but I'm going to do it in the pressure cooker, but the first thing I've got to do is brown the meat so it'll taste really good. So I'm going to put a little oil in my big skillet. Now I'm going to fix these in the pressure cooker and I'm going to put the onions, carrots, and potatoes all in together in the pressure cooker. I hope we can get this done really fast. So, first thing I'm going to do is put my meat in the plastic bag, use a little all-purpose flour to coat it, and then we're going to put it right in the skillet. So I'm just opening this meat up and dump it in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and fix both of them. Because as long as I'm doing it, I might as well, and then we'll have it for another meal. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit of flour there. Maybe a good heaping tablespoon. And I'm going to go ahead and put the salt in there also, real quick. I've got my burner up on high because I want it to get hot pretty quick. Slip that bag up. Just toss it all in with the flour. Until they're all coated. Okay, that will do it. The skillet's hot. I am really in a hurry, so. Anyway, while this is browning, I'm going to be peeling the potatoes and the carrots real quick. And let me get this in the skillet first. All right, it's getting hot now. I'm just kind of straining that flour out through my fingers. Because you, you really have to brown this meat if you don't. It doesn't have as good a taste, I don't think. So I always try to brown my beef and my pork too, really, a little bit, just to get that good uh, flavor out and when you uh, do that, along with the flour coating. All right, so it's salted and flour. I'm going to go ahead and let this brown. Uh, cut my uh, peel and uh, cut up my potatoes and carrots and the onion. We'll be right back. All right, we are back, and I want y'all to see all that brown really stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's where all that good taste is going to come from. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer my meat into my pressure cooker. Try to get this meal ready as soon as I can. I've still got my burner on high. Now I want all that stuff up from the bottom of the pan because that's going to make the great tasting gravy. So I'm going to just add some water to that. Okay, I've already peeled my carrots and my potatoes and I added onion. And I added one little stalk of celery just for the flavor. So I'm going to just dump that right in. The peeled potatoes go right in. And all we're doing now is just waiting for this stuff to come up off the bottom of this pan because that's where all the taste is going to be. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of teriyaki to that too. A couple of tablespoons. That 
that's going to start coming up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a little water to the pressure cooker and go ahead and get that going. So I'm just going to put about a, that's about a cup of water in the pressure cooker. We'll leave that skillet off and get this pot going. So once the skillet, right there's the uh, pressure cooker and the meat and the potatoes, carrots, onion, and some of the celery's in there. And now what I'm going to do is let this pot, the skillet, just cool a little bit. And as soon as it cools a little bit, see, so you can scrape that stuff right up off the bottom. Because I definitely want that in my uh, gravy. So that's going to make it taste really super, super good. Alright, so we're just going to leave that sitting there for just a minute. And we're going to also have some of the little lazur peas with this meal. And I've already, already got the rice on. And we'll go ahead and slice up a couple of pieces of the French bread and put that in some aluminum foil and let it warm. And we're going to be ready for supper hopefully soon because I'm not going to pressure cook this but probably about 10 minutes. That will be long enough for the potatoes and the carrots and the onions to get done. And because these were uh, beef tips, uh, sirloin beef tips, they're going to be very tender. So I'm not worried about the meat. I mean, if you were mixing, making beef stew, you'd have to pressure cook it longer than that. But because it's sirloin beef tips, I know they're going to be tender. Alright, so we've got most of this up, and this will end up being into the gravy. Alright, so we're going to dump that in now. Alright, so we got all that up, or well, most of it up out of the pan. And there's the pressure cooker. Now let's just spread this around a little bit. And it already smells good. All right, so lid on the pressure cooker. And as soon as the uh, pressure builds up right here, I'll go ahead and start timing it. And we're going to put the little pressure gauge on. It's on zero right now. Let me get to the down so you can see. And I'm going to turn it to allow the steam to come up. And when the steam starts coming up in a straight line about that far, I'll go ahead and flip it over to the number two setting and we'll let it steam uh, in the pressure cooker for about 10 minutes. That should get everything done and the gravy should be smooth and nice. All right, so when that happens, we'll be back. All right, we're back and the pressure cooker has been up at full pressure for about 10 minutes. I put it under running cold water on the side of it to get that pressure to go down rapidly because I'm in a hurry. All right, so we're ready to look at this. There it is. Can y'all see that? Perfect gravy. And so we are ready to eat. Beef tips are done. The potatoes are done. The carrots are done. And the onions and the celery. They're all done and we're ready to eat. So I'm going to dish this up. We've already got the uh, rice is done and I warmed up the little lazur peas and the bread is in the oven as we speak. So I'm going to dish this up and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, the uh, beef tips are ready. I wanted to give you a close-up look at those. I've got my little light on on the camera. Of course, there's the uh, French bread we fixed earlier today with the Vitamix. We're having the little lazur peas and the potatoes. There's some celery, and I believe there's a little onion in there. Here's Mr. Bucky's plate. He wants lots of onion. It's French bread, the peas. They're the beef tips over rice, because if you live in South Carolina, anything with gravy kind of has to go over rice. All right. Anyway, this meal took, I think, 35 minutes from beginning to end, except for the bread, which was made earlier today. All right, we will see you all next time.